Let's start the day with a tramp sesh. Kawasaki Ninja Shibuya Hayabusa. Nintendo Magic Kawaii. Kawasaki. Nanda to oishi manko. Got the goods. Yeah, Good. Screw you on. Everything's just so smooth. Handbrake. Handbrake. I'll, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Camp Woodward is in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by Amish people. Which are the people that have badass beards and they live without electricity. Is that how, is that what they are? I, yeah, it's a religious thing. There's Amish right there. There's Amish. There's Amish. Oh my god, oh, oh. I'm so excited. Port side, Amish! I have to shoot up. Oh, this is so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> I have some travel news with you guys to share that I'm excited about. Emily and I got the opportunity to come to Israel for a week and visit Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and just shoot, 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 shoot and make awesome videos for this channel. I'm super excited for that, can't wait. Both two cities I've always wanted to go to and this is gonna be awesome. I spent them like at least half the day kind of planning our trip and I wanted to share with you how we approach our travels and how we kind of find what spots we want to visit and where we want to shoot, where we want to explore and where we want to go free run because um, a lot of times you want to find spots in your own city or you want to travel to your city but the traditional tourist guides don't really give you anything that you enjoy doing so this is usually what I do um, I usually use the app Evernote, which is a free app, and I use that to save any locations I find, and I sort it by country. So this is kind of the little list of uh, Israel locations that I've been working on that keeps growing. And to find these locations, the biggest tool is, of course, the internet. So what I usually Google for is the name of the city, say Jerusalem, and then I add architecture to it. And usually you'll find like interesting architecture or buildings and things that really stand out. 
and sometimes if I find a style I really love, I'll Google the architect's name, I'll find out who was the architect who designed that building, Google his name, find all the buildings he designed all across the world and then save them so I can use them later. I also search for Jerusalem and Abandoned and Jerusalem and UrbX because the UrbX community usually does a really good job at categorizing locations and giving you hints on where they are. I also look for Extreme which can give you kind of other activities that can be exciting for you to do. I also of course Google for Israel, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv and parkour to see any parkour videos, to find a community out there and um, to see what spots they train at. And then I also usually look for skate because a lot of cities have been sessioned by skateboarders before, there's skaters everywhere, they make videos, they share their stories of their trip and a lot of times the locations that they use work quite well for freerunners. Then I will also go to Vimeo because oh, of course everything I mentioned before is what I'll hit, what I'll put into Google but I'll also put that into YouTube because a lot of times you actually find better videos than articles or blog posts. After that I'll head over to Vimeo.com because Vimeo has such a strong filmmaker community and they travel a lot. You'll usually find some really beautifully shot videos from any big city and of course any country. A lot of times that will give you a good idea for what locations are not just good to visit but which locations work really well for filming and what time of the day you might want to go there. I'll Google for Israel best Instagrammers. Usually there will be a top 10 list of any country or city with that city's best Instagrammers. Those people will sometimes just have like a few hundred or a few thousand followers but because they are locals they will find really cool interesting hidden spots so I'll check out all their profiles and see what they got maybe follow through on some hashtags as well and then the last step of course is hitting up the locals the best like the way I usually know people from each country is because I visit a lot of freerunning jams and I you run into a lot of freerunners from all around the world but I wanted to use this video to reach out to any of you guys that are from Israel especially Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or that have been to Israel and ask you are there any like secret spots any cool things you found any things that I should look out for any things I should avoid or definitely do or anything cool that you found or anything that you would like to see me do that would be fun in Israel and especially those two cities we only have a few days so I'm trying to figure out what we can do of course I want to do my best to meet the community and do jams and I'll keep you updated on whatever's going to happen. It's going to be super fun. I'm really really excited for this trip. I know Emily is too. Um, the tickets are not booked yet so I never know what's going to happen, what's going to change but this is looking really really good and I can't wait to see what's going to happen and take you guys with me. So let me know. This is it for death. This is it for today. No dramatic death scene this time. I hope you enjoy me having fun with this channel. It's been kind of really fun just doing whatever. And um, I'm excited to hear travel tips in the comments. Thank you. Goodbye.